Good morning. Uh, I'd like to attempt to create a quick tutorial on how to add a blog post into the Red Tent Projects blog. <laughs> I'm going to open up a browser and I'm going to navigate over to Red Tent Project dot com forward slash WP hyphen admin and I am taken to the login page to the WordPress site I've got two users I'm gonna select admin and I'm gonna log in this is the admin panel uh, for the WordPress uh, site and we're going to navigate over to posts we're going to look at all of the posts that we've already got coming home is the most recent one we can review them if we like what we're going to do is we're going to add a new one First, we're going to add our title. And this is going to be seen by the world. So this is important. I'm going to click on the advanced layout editor and the screen changes to include these layout elements this is how we can divide up our page so these are containers I can come over here to the content elements and these elements go into the containers and then I have additional elements media that also go into the layout elements these are great fun very interesting very flexible and very powerful it's well worth anybody's time to become acquainted with what they all do for our purposes we're going to walk over here to the templates bin and we're going to select the blog post template and our page is now pre-populated with an array of layout, content, and media elements so as to provide a consistent look and feel for the blog. This is the layout, this is the layout element right here and in it is the text box or the special heading rather. We're going to click on the special heading and we're going to add a really compelling headline. You don't have to mess with this. You don't have to mess with this. You don't have to mess with this. You can amplify on the headline and you just save it and that little element is taken care of come down here to the slider and you notice that I've got three images okay but I don't necessarily want those three. I can put these in any order. Uh, make them go away. But I am going to add some images. I can either find images that are already in the library or I can upload images from my own workstation. I have the ones that I want already selected. 
are already uploaded so I'm gonna just click on them and then I'm gonna come down here lower right and I'm gonna insert them and there they are now I can take this module further by editing the element I can add a caption as well as a subcaption on any one of these pictures I can add a link or leave it the leave it alone if I want a link I can create it a link in the light box which is an expanded view of the picture I can set it manually which takes it to another web page website rather or I can uh, send the viewer to a post a portfolio or a page on the current website we can do other things too but these are the main ones we're just going to open it in a light box. So there, I've got a caption on this one, none here, none here. I can continue to add pictures if I want. I don't have to mess with this. I can mess with this. This is how the slide, how the pictures uh, transition. They can either slide sideways or up and down. I prefer fade, but you select what, whichever you like. Make sure that this is uh, this auto rotation is clicked yes. I have found that the duration is usually better four or three seconds, and I minimize or I hide rather the uh, slideshow control. So now this is done. here is the guts of the post this is where the writing happens what I'm gonna do is open up my 500 word post and I, what I've got is I've got a little title and the text. I prefer to do my writing offline. I'm better able to concentrate. And so I'm going to write it offline in some sort of text editor like Word or whatever you use. And then save it and then when I'm ready to do the post I actually just copy it and come back over here to the text block and paste it in place and I'm good to go you notice that I had some links down here I can pick those up now copy it and come over here and up here I've got some editing options and one of them is to add or insert a link all I have to do is paste it into that little box and I want to make sure that it opens up in a new tab so it doesn't take the viewer away from the red tent website I'm going to add the link and I thought there was a second one Oh yeah, shameless plug. Control copy, and I'm pretty much done with that. And Control V, and now I have my links added. I can save it. Now I want to preview it. See what it would look like if I published it and that's pretty good except maybe not so much you see I've got a lot of wasted space here 
I can make it better. So I'm going to edit the post. And I noticed that the first paragraph was roughly equal to the height of the images. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to cut it. So I've got that left up there. Down here, if needed, enter additional text here. Otherwise, simply delete the containers. But I need them this time. So there we go. So I've got it laid out differently. Here are my um, social share buttons. And I'm going to preview it again. And I like that better. I like that better. I check my links. Excellent. And I check my links. Bam. So we are gold so far. I'm going to edit the post. I've got just a couple of things left to do. I need to categorize this post. So I come over here to the right hand side. It's called the sidebar. And I'm going to take I'm going to uncheck uncategorized. I'm going to check in-house training. One last thing. I can do multiple categories if I like. One last thing, I need to add a featured image. And again, I can either upload the image from my desktop or I can select an image that I've already got in my library. In this case, I'm going to select this image and I'm going to put it here. I'm going to preview it one last time. The last two changes, the categorization and the featured image don't show up on the on the post, so there's nothing to see about that. But I'm liking this. I'll go back to the editing thing. And I'm going to publish it. I'm going to view the post that is now published. The world can see it. Where do they see it from? They see it from the blog. Here's the Red Tent blog. Here's the picture of the sad woman. Trial post number one. Click on this link. And there you go. There's the light box. Thanks very much. I hope this has been helpful.